Mobile landing pages are important because they're the number one way that people browse the internet. Instead of waiting to shop on their laptops or desktop computers, shoppers can now pull out their tablet or their phone to get what they need. If your landing page doesn't adapt to different screen sizes, you could miss out on potential revenue from users browsing on mobile devices. With that in mind, today we'll show you how to create a mobile landing page in SeedProd. Hi, my name is Chris from SeedProd, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. SeedProd has a drag and drop visual editor that lets you build many different types of landing pages quickly and easily. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and to find out how SeedProd can create amazing landing pages for you. As a bonus, stick around to the end of the video and I will share with you six best practices for creating mobile landing pages. So the first thing we want to do is install SeedProd. So we can come to our WordPress dashboard to get that ready. And then you can click the link in the description for seedprod.com or visit this website directly. We want to use the pro license. So go ahead and click get seedprod and create an account. After we have an account created, we're going to click on login. On the left-hand side here, you're going to enter your email address and password that you signed up with and click the login button. After you log in, you'll see the seedprod dashboard. We're going to click on downloads and we want to look at the orange button here. We're going to click on this to download seedprod. As well, we want the license key here. Let's click the icon here to copy that. We're finished with this page so we can close the tab and now let's go to plugins and add new. Up here we want to click on upload plugin and we can drag and drop the zip file here. You can also choose a file directly and select it off of your hard drive. Let's click install now and click on activate. We can paste that license key right here and click verify key and you should see a green success message. I'm going to go ahead and close this little tab on the bottom if you are using the same browser as I am. Now that CPROD is installed on the left side I'm going to click on pages. And now we do have coming soon mode, maintenance mode, login page in 404. And I have tutorials for these on the channel if you want to check those out. We're going to be creating a mobile landing page. So we're going to click on create new landing page. Now CPR is going to ask you to choose a new page template. You can filter these by type. So coming soon, maintenance, 404, thank you, login, etc. So you can scroll down and pick one that you like, or you can filter them if you wish. So I'm going to click on lead squeeze and then search for a nice looking template. Right here we have one called Hustle Squeeze Page, but you're free to use whatever you wish. You can preview it as well by hitting the magnifying glass to see what it looks like. And then you can click Choose This Template, or you can hit the check mark here to import it. We need to give it a page name, so call it whatever you wish. And then hit Save and start editing the page. Here you'll see the SeedProd Visual Page Builder. On the left hand side we have our blocks. We have standard and advanced blocks. And the blocks are just all of these little pieces that make up your page. So right here is an image, right here is a heading. Here's another image. This is a list and we have an email opt-in. To get back to the blocks here, we can click here. So when this changes, that's just the options for each block. So for example, this is an image and this will change the options for your image block. So for example, we can delete the image and replace it with another one, add an alt text, image size, alignment, and link it if we want. A lot of the blocks also have templates here, so we could change the style of it. So if you want to add a drop shadow or maybe even a border there, you could do that as well as advanced tab. And usually this is some shadowing or spacing options. Now this is an image. So this does have an image border option here to play with. If you want to check that out. Now you can see all of these lines that are moving. These are different sections, rows, columns. So this is just the color coded that you, so you know where you are. And then when we have the icons above here to change the options. So this is to move the row. This is the row settings. This is the resize columns. This is to duplicate and delete. Now, if I click on a block, it'll be slightly different. So we have move block, block settings. We can save the block. So if we change this to something special like the colors, we can save this block and it'll be saved down here for us to quickly access that. So if we're using it multiple times, we don't have to create it each time. And we also have duplicate, so I can duplicate a block or I can delete that. We also have sections up here and these are pre-made areas like hero, call to action, FAQ, features. So if I wanna add a feature section, I can just click the plus sign here and then I'll add this whole area. And then I can just click on the different sections to change the images, the text, whatever I want. And I can click the trash can here to get rid of that. So because we're working on a mobile landing page, I'm not going to care too much about the desktop version. That's what I'm looking at right now. If we look down in the bottom left here, we have a mobile preview. So I'm going to switch to that. If we just go up and down the page, we can see this is what it will look like on mobile devices. So you could just click on each section and then modify this how you wished it to look on a mobile site. So I might make this a little bit smaller and I might also center that on the screen. We have an image here, so I might keep that or get rid of it. You can also change the order of things if you wish, so I could drag this above or below. 
if that makes more sense. Again, I have some text here, so maybe I'll make that a little bit smaller and center it. We have a list here. So if I click here, we have the different list options. You can click here and modify the icon if you want. You can duplicate that if you want to add another entry or delete that, or you can click the add new item. You can change the icon color. So maybe you want that to stand out a little bit more and you can change the font size so it looks better on mobile device. We also have the space between if you want to add more space, whatever looks like it would be easier to read for the user. And we can also align these, but I think the left align would make sense with the icons lining up. And then there's some advanced options there. So you could do a horizontal list vertical, but you can't see it because they're kind of squeezed here on the screen size. Now, if we keep coming down, we have the email opt-in and there's some options here. We can show the name if we want, but we don't want the user to be typing too much on our page. We want to just be able to get the information that we want and have them enter it. Now we can click on our blocks here. And if we want to add more, maybe you want to add a video to the page, you could get rid of this hero image instead. And maybe you want a video. And then if you click the settings, you could add your YouTube URL or add a custom video code here. I'm going to get rid of this for now. We also have other things we can add like buttons, columns to have different layouts. We can do a giveaway. We can add more opt-in forms or social profiles, testimonials. So we could add a testimonial here and then just edit this to change this. And you could click duplicate to have multiple testimonials. For now I'm going to delete these. So after you have add your content, we can update our pictures. So let's just say we, this isn't a computer company. We can delete this and choose your own image to upload, or you can search for a stock image. This is something that is available with Seedprod. So here I did a quick search for coffee. So I'll just look for an option here for an image and I'll just go with this one. I'll delete this image for now and maybe we'll just play with the colors a little bit. So if I go under advanced, we can go to color and we have global colors here. So for example, there's a purple on this one and let's select a different color here for this global color. So maybe the white and now to change these global colors all in one spot, you can go down here to the bottom left to under global settings and we can change our fonts, colors, background and custom CSS for the colors. We can click here and this is where I was selecting. So when you click on the block under advanced, bring your color, you can see all of your global colors here to select. So you can update these right here and you can fine tune what your headers, text, buttons, links and backgrounds are. You can also select a different color palette if you want. Okay, so there's one that we selected. It's not a big difference. We can see some blue in here and then you could fine tune each section if you wanna change them. Okay, so I would spend more time making this look better. I'm just showing you quick examples on how to actually change this. And if you made a mistake, we could actually click on say undo and you can see that changes. We have an undo and redo. And then if you wanted to see the desktop version, you could switch back to see what that would look like if somebody visited the page on their desktop. Now we do have an opt-in form here to download an ebook. You could click on the button here to change that to something else. So the submit button, you can change this to sign up to an email list. And if you want to connect that email list, we can connect that up here under the connect section with your favorite email marketing service. So for example, on constant contact, you would go to their website, create an account, and you would grab an API key. You would bring that back here and say, connect, connect new account. And you would just paste that API key right here. If you're not sure how to get that, you can contact their support or their documentation. It's quite easy to get. You can give this an optional name, click connect. And now all your emails will be directed to constant contact to manage them there. Seedprod does have a subscriber section in the WordPress admin to manage subscribers. If you choose not to use an email marketing service. And we also have page settings here so we can change the page title the page URL, the page status. So you could publish it. I always publish it right here on the drop down instead when I'm ready. And then the seed prod link, if you want to show powered by seed prod at the bottom in the footer of your page, and you can join our affiliate program and add the link to get a commission on all sales generated from your link. We have isolation mode, which will help prevent conflicts with other themes or plugins. So it'll, it'll only load the code that will make this page load quickly and to function properly. On the left here, we have SEO and we recommend to install all in one SEO. It's the number one WordPress search engine optimization plugin. And the same thing with analytics. We want to use monster insights for that. If you have any scripts that you need to post into the header, body, or footer. You can paste those in here if you need to, as well as custom domain mapping. You can learn more about that in our documentation on the Seedprod website. But basically you can link a page to a custom domain. So if you didn't want this URL, you can map this URL to go to any domain that you want, that you own. 
and you can set that up easily. Let's come back to our design. And once you're happy with the page, you can go ahead and save that. And we're going to go ahead and publish this. Let's see the live page. And here is the example of the page, but it's not the mobile version. So what we're going to do is right click and say inspect. And up here, we'll have the little toggle device toolbar. So I'm going to enable that. You can click the drop down here to select a different device. So if you want to see what this will look like on the iPhone X, you can select that and here we can see what it would look like. You could switch this to the Pixel 2 and you can see what it would look like on there as well. Once you're done, you can click the X and there you go, your finished mobile page. Let's take a moment to discuss six best practices for creating mobile landing pages. Number one is simplicity. People want to find what they're looking for fast. Instead of cluttering your page with unnecessary features, only include what needs to be on your mobile landing page and try to get rid of everything else, such as your hamburger menus, login buttons, etc. Number two are headlines. Avoid using clickbait headlines and instead make them short, specific, and impactful. Try to focus on that one thing that people will get from your page when they take action. Number three is copy. This is the text on your page. The length of your landing page depends on your audience. Keep in mind the context of what people are actually searching for. Then answer that in your copy with the information that they need. Bullet points are a great way to consolidate information in a short and scannable format. Number four are forms. If your landing page goal is to get subscribers, you need to keep things minimal. Since people are generally typing with their thumbs, they won't want a bunch of form fields to fill out with their fingers. Keep the form short, simple, and only ask for details that you require. Number five are call to action. You should design your mobile landing page with one call to action in mind. So this could be a very prominent button, for example. Having more than one call to action may make it confusing for the user. The call to action button should also be big enough to be seen on mobile screens and add a lot of white space around it to help the users focus. Number six is speed. Slow landing pages will kill conversions. Even a one second delay in page loading time can wear down the user's patience and lead to a high bounce rate. Build your page with speed optimized WordPress plugins and use speed test tools to find areas to improve on. I hope this video showed you how to create a mobile landing page using Seedprod and our professionally designed templates. While you are designing and building your mobile landing pages, it may be a great time to show an under construction page. Check out this video I made on how to create an under construction page in WordPress by using Seedprod. It'll walk you through easily, step-by-step step, using Seedprod, how to create the under construction page so you can take advantage of it to collect emails, throw giveaway contests, add a countdown timer until you launch, and much, much more. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.